Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that you are all very excited for the holiday coming up. I really, really wanted to wear a Santa hat in this video today, and I actually spent a bunch of time digging through old Christmas boxes trying to find it, and I guess the ratty old hat that we used to have Jessica threw away. So I really wanted it, but I guess you'll have to do without the hat today. So this is the last video you're going to get before uh, Christmas holiday coming up. I hope you're pretty much done with your shopping. I'm not quite finished, but I'm just about there. So we'll wrap it up here in the next day or two. I need to because then it'll be Christmas. Anyway, let's get down to what uh, I've got for us today. Today's first shout out or today's shout out is to uh, the hammer, Aaron Tilbury. And man, did he ever bring the hammer last week. Sometimes the man just blows me away. And uh, you, honestly, you don't know the half of it because that's what our job is to do is to negotiate for you and, and really the end result is what you see but um, last week we got a, an email from a negotiator to bank that said the file has been approved uh, with some minor changes what that usually means is it's not a counter offer to the purchase price it is a counter offer to fees and costs being paid i.e. commissions so uh, what usually happens when a, when a real estate agent, if they don't have someone like us negotiating on their behalf, when a real estate agent gets that, they're going to come back and they're going to say, fine, let's just close this thing. I'll take my reduced commissions. I've got an approval letter in my hand. I don't want to deal with this anymore. We're done. Well, we don't play that way at Alliance and uh, we're here to get you paid as uh, a full commission if at all possible. So. Uh, the negotiator's email um, came back and said, the approved fees and costs stand. There's nothing to renegotiate. This is after Aaron initiated contact with him saying, hey, we need to make some changes here. This is not going to go through. Uh, that was the, the negotiator's stance. Well, in a matter of a day and an exchange of over 13 emails, the final result, and this is a quote from the negotiator's email, I will redo the analysis and resubmit the offer for approval. Wham! Don't try and take our commissions away from us. We don't play that way. Homie, don't play that game. Do you guys remember that from uh, In Living Color? Several of you probably don't. Anyway, so awesome job, Aaron. Thank you for not taking no for an answer. Thank you for asking the questions and pushing back and doing your best to get our agents paid. And uh, interestingly, I don't think I sent this out in an email to you, but um, I was thinking about it. Anyway, I did some auditing of some files uh, a couple weeks ago actually now and I had seven closed uh, short sale transactions that I was going through and auditing the files. Only one of those seven uh, did, the, um, did the bank reduce the commissions to the agent below the full commission that was on the listing agreement. So uh, you know, just for, you know, again, I want you to know that we're, we are working for you to get you paid your full commissions. So let's talk a little bit about Equator. Equator is, again, the system, the REO Trans system. I'm not going to go into a lot of details on it, but um, we've been entering stuff in. We've been getting lots of error messages. We've been talking to the bank, trying to figure out what these error messages are for and what we can do about them. And um, one of the error messages that we got was we had an offer and we put it into the system and it kicked it back to us and it said, it said sorry, the offer isn't high enough. And we're like, uh, excuse me, what? What is this? The bank now is approving or declining offers before they do anything? Well, we did some digging and we did some investigation and found that particular property had a BPO done on it previously. And so the system had been set up to, based on the BPO, decide whether or not an offer was going to be within an acceptable range. Well, that's kind of a cool deal. If it's going to be a crummy offer, we're going to get it kicked back and know it's a crummy offer. However, um, what we did is Aaron, again, dug on this one and he said, well, does the system know when a BPO has expired? And some agents don't even understand that BPOs expire. They just think they stand forever. But investors have specific guidelines. So he's talking to this rep over at Bank of America and he says, uh, do, you know, does the system allocate that certain investors are going to require a new BPO in 90 days, others are going to be 120 days, some are six months? You know, does the system allocate for that? And the rep said, uh, 
but you know, nobody has ever asked me that. I need to talk to my supervisor. So he talked to his supervisor and his supervisor had no idea because his supervisor had never even been asked that question either. So they literally have escalated it up to top level at Equator, who's the designers of the, the system that they're using. And uh, at that point, that supervising group that is kind of troubleshooting all this transition didn't have an answer. They're actually having to dig into the system, potentially having to rewrite uh, some code to the system to either allocate for that or at least give us an avenue to say, we know that this BPO is expired because of who the investor is, so you need to order a new BPO. This offer is some something viable that you need to take a look at. And so uh, this is so huge and critical because there are going to be myriads of agents in this country that are submitting stuff through the equator system to Bank of America and they're going to get them kicked back and they're just going to throw up their hands and they're going to say, oh my God, short sales just don't work because I can't even get an offer that I know is at market value into the bank because it kicks it back decline to me. If they don't have, if they don't take the time to dig and talk to one party after another and find out, oh wait, there's a glitch in the system, there's a problem. They're just gonna throw up their hands and say it doesn't work, forget it, I'm not gonna do it, the offer's declined, we're just gonna let this house go to foreclosure. So uh, I wanna send kudos out to our team, and really it's the Alliance philosophy that we don't just take no for an answer. When we hear no, we have to ask the question why, and just keep digging with one why after another. One of my mentors always told me that when, when you're trying to investigate something or get something taken care of, and you run into a roadblock of any kind, some sort of resistance, you need to ask the question why at least six times to drill down to what the core is. And uh, the first why is usually because that's just the way we do it. Well, why? And as you keep getting down further, eventually you figure out, well, because the system doesn't have a way to calculate if there's uh, how long the BPO has been on file. Well, then is there something we can do about that? Because once you get down to the core, then you can actually start getting some results. And that's the same basic process that Aaron was able to use in negotiating those fees or getting that uh, negotiator to resubmit the file so that the fees would get approved because we know they're going to get approved. That negotiator just did a poor job of submitting it to the investor. So anyway, that is what I have for you this week. Have a wonderful holiday week. Just a reminder that I am on vacation and uh, there won't be a, a Monday download that Monday after Christmas. Uh, but I will have one uh, the Monday after New Year's. Enjoy your, your time off if you're taking some time off. Uh, definitely take a little bit of time off for those of you that are working your tails off. Um, we'll be thinking about you while we're on vacation. Anyway, thanks for everything. It's been an excellent year. Uh, we really appreciate all of our agents that we're working with. Uh, you guys are awesome. You've invested a lot of time and money into your training and into being a part of this network. And uh, we're, we're very glad that you're part of it and, and know that you're finding success in your short sales. So anyway, have a great end of the year. I will be back to talk with you in 2010. Thanks a lot, you guys. We love you. Have a great year. Bye.